good everybody it's your boy oh i mean the most memorable days of all time i mean if you can remember it was a slap heard around the world when will smith walked up to chris rock and did this <laughs> oh, oh, wow. hey. it was a slap that we thought that was fake or it was a prank but no it was real as it could get but chris rock remember a lot of people took his side of the argument because will smith should have been able to control himself but guess what guess what guess what guess what chris rock was about to get a lot of money but he had to make sure that he didn't give any interviews to the public because that would have stopped the money well what do you mean o'shea well, he knew people wanted to hear his side of the story since he got slapped. He made sure he did a stand-up special on Netflix, bringing in a lot of money. He needed to hold all that information for the most part until he really got paid for it. And that is not a bad idea, because if you're going to get slapped, you might as well get paid for it. But what does this have to do with Tia Maori and Corey Hardrick? Fast forward! I'm glad you asked that question. You see, Tia Mowry, later on that year in 2022, filed for divorce from Corey Hardrick, stating irreconcilable differences. Of those, we don't know what they were, but we did know that she graduated from marriage and all of that stuff, and she wanted to be free, explore her options, all of those things that pretty much belittled Corey Hardrick and made him look incompetent without saying that he was incompetent. But you know what she probably intended to do? She probably thought that he would be stuck without her. And she's right. It, it probably did hurt. But this is not the first time that this sort of thing happens with women. Um, even though I don't want to be with him anymore, there is a part of me that wants him to still want to be with me. And when I kind of think about like, what? what gets me upset or why am I so yeah sad about certain things you know of him wanting to to also go through the divorce you know um if I don't want to be with him my problem is not that I don't value myself or I don't have self-love I think if I didn't I would continue to be in this relationship and I feel like this found awareness of myself and, and the self-love has brought me to this point of wanting to get the divorce and move on and and find someone or many someones that fulfill me um you know more that was hot to take in man it was that truth hurts sometimes <laughs> hank i still I still don't feel like I, I you know what I really I kind of want to I don't know if I all the way understood um or if maybe I just ran out of the capacity to um get what the young lady was saying in the end um about how like she, I, I kind of missed her point I don't know if somebody could kind of elaborate on that but um she want to play games with that man she want to play with his feelings and his emotions and then get potentially get rammed out by either one Dino or multiple Dinos. Uh, what? Shit. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I still yeah. don't feel like the Amari. I still don't feel like she. I don't know. Like, okay, like what's? I don't. Nobody else was married to that man. Like, so she might know the inside scoop of what really was going on. And like, just because she decided to be out. And it was irre I can't even say it. irreconcilable differences. Like, well, how does that make him incompetent? Y'all, are we just assuming that because they couldn't see eye to eye? Like, I, I don't. That was an assumption from the person who was speaking on that video. Period. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was just the word he used. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but Kelly, we, we got to look at some of the things, the words she used, though. Some of the words she uses, it, that's what it sounds like. That's why I said she made it sound like he's controlling. He was uh, overly demanding. Uh, and, and at times, well, like he was verbally abusive. 
that's the some of the words she uses that make it sound like now she didn't use those words for you know I word for word specifically. But in some of her stories and some of her interviews, that's what it made it sound like. But what like if it she was a big word? Like he was a burden and he was a go go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> She can't help herself. No, so I think it's a lag or something because I only speak when you kind of like pause and then boom, it's like I'm interrupting you and that's never like I never open my mouth as words are coming out of yours. So I, I'll just dial back. Look, I, I, I'm I, again. You, you went here earlier. Me and Viz is used to this abuse on Wednesdays. We we come to this oh. set, <laughs> and you. You are you. <laughs> you hey, one of one of I'm gonna go oh. heat up y'all bottles. I'm gonna go heat up yeah, y'all yeah, bottles. Microwave. You, one you, 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 I, I was a victim of of, of rays last week. Oh my god! <laughs> Doing after the divorce, and I thought that maybe this was like her trying to say that she missed Corey Hardrick, or maybe she regretted what she was doing. But no. Tia Maori doesn't regret that at all. And let me prove what I'm talking about. Let's check out this particular clip here in the background where you see she just posted this. Are you scared of doing things alone? How it feels to do things alone. And you see this her by herself. And you know, she's trying to basically say like, hey, this is my life after the divorce. Look at me overcoming it. Basically trying to align with a lot of women who are doing the same thing. But let's look at the Instagram post itself, which she wrote in the caption. Sad music! For a long time, I confused being alone with loneliness, but I come to realize that loneliness and solitude are two very different things. Solitude is not a punishment, it is a gift. Sitting in solitude is where the magic happens. It's in those quiet moments that you hear your inner whispers. <laughs> what in the hell? And discover the peace within yourself. I'm learning to truly love my own company. And this journey has been powerful. Like she says this every freaking week, okay? And nobody is dumb. This is the same thing that you're always saying all the time. And Corey Hardrick is never singing these things because he just doesn't care. But it makes sense why Tia Maori is doing this same thing almost every other day. The reason is Tia Maori is going to admit something. She admitted that she hid the reality of her marriage to Corey Hardrick until now, until the My Next Act, the We TV reality show, which appeared on October the 4th. Basically what Tia Maori wanted to do was to build up the audience in the anticipation for this show by, you know, for the most part, pretending to be a victim, sometimes crying on her Instagram posts, you know, trying to make an emotional connection so she can get those people to watch her over there to hear exactly what she had to say about Corey Hardrick. This girl has never been alone. She has always been a girlfriend turned to wife, turned to mother, and she has never had time to discover herself. And that's where she is now with this divorce, with I guess, you know, the whole reality show thing in the works or, well, it's airing now, but that's what it is. And so now she wants to document her journey, talking about how it feels to be alone because she never had that experience. And I think that's what Gabrielle Union was trying to encourage women to do. Live your life, have your fun. So when you do get in a relationship, you are not doing what Tia Mallory is doing. 